So warm um, welcome to everybody present here and uh, welcome back uh, to the three day international intensive uh, short term training program on uh, electrical electronics computer civil and mathematical engineering uh, we have uh, today four resource persons we have professor anil joyal with us who will be handling session 5 she will be handling on tanner eea and then we have professor satya who will be handling on uh, uh, special uh, concrete uh, technology and then uh, in the evening or maybe in the afternoon session we would be ha- we would uh, have uh, professor regan of uh, electrical and electronics uh, engineering department then we have dr karthik am of uh, the department of uh, st mathesa engineering college uh, he shall also uh, explain about the importance of uh, electrical engineering and uh, uh, the role of dsp digital signal processing in today's uh, market so about uh, session 5 we have with us uh, professor anu joyal she has completed her b.e and m.e at uh, dr sevandi arthana college of engineering nic in the year 2017 and 2019 respectively and uh, she has a vast experience with uh, embedded system especially with the um, uh, gsm based uh, hazardous uh, gas leakage warning system then with the uh, fir filters with the uh, digital electronics and we is and with blc design circuits she has a uh, good uh, experience with the uh, tanner eda tool so that's the reason she has uh, rightfully accepted the offer to handle uh, this useful stdp short term training program for you all i'm sure that uh, she is not going to touch more basics with regards to this uh, webinar but she is going to go deep into the training session so that uh, you all will be benefited a lot so just like professor l raisel of uh, session 4 she is a young dynamic uh, professor of uh, ec department at st madras engineering college and i'm sure that you will enjoy the session and i repeat uh, participants uh, the certificates the ppt and all the materials will be delivered to you within one week after the completion of the program that is within 18th may 2021 so you may not have to ask this queries once again and uh, the feedback link will, uh, shall be posted to you uh, within the session so you you need not have to ask me via uh, whatsapp or maybe any email even the feedback link is posted in the google uh, meet link just because we have received a very good uh, tremendous response from you participants we have created link link to as well as link 3 if you can observe the link 1 is already full and link 2 is going to fill and then link 3 uh, is also open right now right so warm well, welcome to everybody so over to you uh, professor anu joyal the session is yours thank you sir and i'm most welcome and thank you i just want to thank our board and the team for this wonderful morning and good morning to everyone and i just also want to thank our management and our principal sir for uh, giving this opportunity and uh, thank you sir uh, dr kristonan for encouraging me to do this uh, stdp and now let's just uh, start move into this session and uh, i think you all have uh, able to visible this slide right can everyone able to see the presentation Yes, visible. Can you make it full screen? Yes, yeah. yes, sir. One minute. Light show. Yeah. yeah. So now, can you able to see the the full screen? <coughs> now, can you able to post the bulletin full screen, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So uh, let's move on to this topic, and which is on Tanner EDA. It's a software which is to implement, uh, build an innovative schematic design. So this is my topic, and I'm 
professor anu joyal from san madhatrafa engineering college i'm working as an assistant professor in ec department so let's move on to this and why the tanner why we are moving into tanner and why we are doing uh, working in tanner why tanner we are uh, you had have known uh, xilinx cad and those are the basic tools we have we have known in a in ec ec Uh, while designing a circuit or else uh, to write a coding, you'll use a uh, Xilinx and Cadence. Then why we are going into Tanner? Uh, even though it is similar to Cadence, it is a user-friendly device. Like uh, uh, you can uh, work on this software, this field, or this platform easily. Uh, you can easily understand this uh, working strategy also. So uh, first one is a uh, load uh, total cost of ownership. Like uh, it is a software platform that is. Cost efficient and easy to use, and the next one is a uh, technic technological innovation. So it's design, it's a designing tool and as uh, uh, significantly less expensive. Like uh, you can design any um, any uh, circuits. Like uh, for uh, get to know that easily, you can design a um, even you can design a simple uh, adder circuit, or also you can design a uh, little bit complex. Uh, What is the uh, difference? Uh, we can uh, I can explain you with the easy talk, uh, easy examples, and then it is a flexible PC based solutions. Like you can uh, install the software in any uh, PCs, like uh, and uh, you can um, install in uh, various uh, processors also. Even in this thirty two bit processor, you can install this uh, software, and then even in sixty four bit, like uh, in various soft uh, PCs also, you can use this. Now uh, let's move on into Tanner tools. So the Tanner EDA is a suite of tools for the designing of integrated circuits. Normally, it is used to design and it chips. And the next one is it is mainly used to analyze circuits at um, either in the gate level or in switch levels. And then uh, these tools are used to enter schematics, like schematic designs, and then to perform spy simulations. You will have known that uh, if you uh, if you design a If you enter the code in the Xilinx, you will get the waveform. You will get the simulation data. So likewise, if you enter the design circuit values, circuits in this um, uh, software, you will get the spy simulation. And we can do the physical designs also, like uh, chip layouts. Uh, we can draw the layout diagrams also. And then to perform a design rule check and layout versus a uh, schematic checks, these tools are more efficient for that. And uh, there are a few um, tools. Which is uh, combined with this uh, main Tanner in the uh, Tanner EDA software, and those were first one is S edit. As the word itself, it represents that schematic capture. So we can design, we can uh, design a circuit in this field, in this tool. And the next one is T. T is T spy. So this T spy simulations engines integrated with S edit, like it is combined with S edit. If you have uh, designed a circuit using T uh, S edit. And then you have to compose it. You have to simulate in the, and you have to see the waveform. Ah, Before that, you have to give some comments. Right? Uh, if you need to know a particular uh, power sub consumption of a particular circuit, which you have drawn in the schematic diagram, you have you need the help of the steel spice. You have to add the comment in the steel spice to see the result of the uh, circuit. Like uh, you have uh, to get the output of the power consumption of the particular circuit you have drawn. Uh, so, uh, for those purpose, you are using the T spy, and the next one is L edit. L edit is, is none other than layout, L, which means layout. So you can design a layout design. You can draw a layout in this, in this uh, la platform. Like uh, you, uh, you all know, right? Uh, you all have known. Uh, now, if you have studied, uh, if you are in a EC or you are, uh, you have slight uh, idea about VLSI means you'll have known about the layout diagrams. Stick diagrams, layout diagrams. Uh, you have studied, right? So those were those were the. Uh, this is the platform where you can draw those layout diagrams, those uh, di layout diagrams to implement in the uh, layout edit, L edit to uh, get the output of those uh, diagrams. And then W edit. W means waveform, waveform formatting. So this is the simulation platform where you'll get the output of the design you have drawn, or else the layout you have designed in this L edit. So finally, LVS. LVS. So the this where you can say this L represents. I already told you L represents layout, and S represents 
schematic. So this LVS represents layout versus schematic design. So if you have drawn a Lingota diagram in a schematic platform, that is S edit, and then you have drawn the LED, uh, drawn the layout diagram of the same uh, inverter diagram in the LED, and you need a, uh, you have a doubt whether this uh, layout diagram and the schematic diagram is equal, whether this is uh, correct, uh, or uh, there is any difference, any uh, deviations in the layout diagram, or else in the uh, schematic diagram. So you can check, you can check with this layout work platform edit so where you can uh, you can just uh, you can uh, enter these two designs and then you can compare the designs then you can analyze whether these two are same or um, they have any problem with the design the next is as said it so i have already explained uh, thoroughly what is as said it so once again uh, let me explain you that so as said is the term associates and powerful designs to capture and entry tools that can generate Netlist directly usable in T-Spice uh, simulation. So I have told you, right? If you design a circuit in SRIT, you have to uh, check the modulations, check the flow in T-Spice simulation. So that is what I have mentioned here. And the next one is provide an integrated environment for editing circuits and setting up and then running simulations, even also the probing the results. Like you have a, uh, you have a circuit with a results flow. So that was I have explained. Uh, mentioned here and the next two another is also provide the ability to perform spice simulations of this circuit and then the finally this circuit can be uh, drawn and then forward into the physical layer the next two one is led so led it is refers it refers the layout editors and then it, it can be flexible to do and micro mechanism designs pcb for layouts and other cad one cad works like uh, you have designed if you have a uh, designed a circuit in this S edit and then you have uh, converted it to a lay, uh, layout uh, in this uh, layout form and then if the uh, if the circuit is perfect if the uh, circuit connections is correct then you can you can use those model circuit to design a manual one so that is what this uh, layout that it how uh, help you and then L edit it has a DRC so DRC identifies any design faults with a with spacing layer overlaps like if you have a slight deviations or slight deviations with the NVL and PVL, it will show so DRC it is used to check it doesn't check error checker and the next one is L edit which uh, in L edit we have the extract so this extract generates a circuits netless which is used for spice simulations and the next one is W edit which is a waveform uh, formatting not just a waveform viewer but a robust analysis too so it consists of it is built in measurements like maximum values, minimum values, average value of the uh, output, and then intersects RMS values, overall undershoots, amplitude value of a particular circuit, particular uh, characteristics equations, characteristic circuits, uh, designs, and then errors, crossing points, and delays, even the frequencies, rise and fall time of the circuit, of a waveform, and then Settling times, due to cycles, clue rate, extra drive, etc. So, so easy, easy measurement by selecting traces and applying options. Like uh, you can select a particular space of this waveform and then you can check whether the trace is correct, whether the flow of the cycle is correct. You can check with the in the way W edit. And the next one is T spice. So I have already mentioned you several times. T spice, T spice, T spice. So let's move on to the T spice. What is T spice? It is a complete design capture and then a simulation solution that provides accuracy of the uh, circuits. And the next one is the role of T-Spice is to help design and verify a circuit operation, whether the circuit flow is correct, whether it has any problem in the flow of the circuit and you have any problem with the connectivity, you can check it in T-Spice. And then these, these T-Spice simulation, this will allow circuit designers to verify and fine tune the design before submitting from uh, them for fabrications like uh, while checking the delay you can check the delay uh, in this t space also by giving a um, a particular uh, coding I, I tell you i tell you the coding also coding values and the uh, which of the lines become used to uh, check the delay value so if you are using that coding if you uh, if you have any connection problem in between the coding in between the design it will show you in the t space like you have not connected the space you have not connected this to components now, or else you have just uh, overlapped this components this nmos and pmos you have overlapped it so it will show you that it will tell you the problem 
and it will give you the it will give the designers a uh, pro, um, and conception an assumption that your design is correct you can do the fabrication work so it's the main uh, uh, main spice emulate process uh, i have two and the next one is it performs a fast and accurate simulation for analog and a mixed signal ic design and fully support foundry models for reliable and accurate simulation so now let's uh, let's compare the t spice and the normal spice simulation so the t spice uh, which means spice is uh, presented as t spice and we have uh, several spice simulations right uh, so let's uh, compare this spice simulation with the t spice so the t spice use an extended version of this spice so it is a wide extended version of this spice simulation and which is compatible with all industry standard spice simulation software so first let's see the speed so the t spice provides highly optimized code for evaluating devices and it also provides the option of table based transistor models which evaluates the yield dramatic increase and simulation and the next one is convergence uh, this convergence represents the t spice users um, an advanced mathematical method to achieve superior numerical stability that in spice like uh, even in the spice you have this uh, this advantages and in t spice it has more than advanced one with the mathematical method and the next one is uh, accuracy so uh, in t spice which uh, it uses very accurate numerical methods and charge conversions of uh, to achieve superior simulation accuracy so the accuracy in the output accuracy in the delay value in power consumption values even in the output wave and the next one is macro model it supports black box macro devices so it supports the uh, devices and the next one is external model interface it allows custom the device models using c or c++ and the analyzes results for voltages current charges and power can be written to single or multiple files we can check um, check a particular components uh, power supply or else uh, power consumption or else uh, we can check several number of components power supply and what are all the analyzes we can do in this channel too what are all the analyzes we can carry out in this analyzes in this channel too so the first one is dc operating point analyze so in the second and the second one is dc transfer analyze third one is transient analysis like uh, you know the waveforms uh, even these are all shown in the waveforms only so you'll get the output with a uh, if i have set a particular frequency a particular amount of frequency like a uh, uh, n times or 100 ns then you'll have how many you can set how many frequencies how many cycles you need to carry out in this particular 100 and if you need an ns then you can set it. then it will uh, work with that and then ac analysis if you have given the ac input if you have the ac input and you'll get the output so it'll uh, you can set that too and then next we can uh, check it deliberately like first one is dc operating point analysis which is used to find the circuit steady state conditions like whether the circuit is in steady state whether the circuit is in perfect manner and the next one is dc transfer analysis which is used to study the voltage or current at a set of point like you can uh, you can calculate the voltage value or else the current value like uh, which you have given as an input point like if you have given the voltage you'll get the voltage output if you are giving the current as an input value then you'll get the uh, output uh, in the current value so you have you can able to study used to study these things uh, using dc a transfer analysis at a set of point in this circuit as a function of the both voltage and current at the uh, another set of points and this is done by sweeping the source variable and the next on us ac analysis so this is the analysis characterize the circuit's behavior which is dependent on the small signal input frequency and the next one is transient analysis which is the which used to provide information on how the circuit elements varies with time so if you have given a particular time yeah, that was i have explained like that uh, if you have set the 100 nanoseconds for this whole process yeah, i need to know like uh, in which point i have to complete a single clock cycle so again set it if you have set the clock cycle step in between that uh, 10 nanoseconds then you'll get 10 uh, cycles full cycles in this particular 100 nano frequency nanosecond so next one is power up mode so for circuits without dc uh, steady state uh, the power up options in these uh, um, 
in the circuit uh, we can check it using the uh, t spice i have told you that you can give the command in t spice and from using the t spice you can check the power of a particular circuit so it says enter your circuits to zero for time equal to zero so the next one is demonstration so uh, i'm here to just uh, show you and demonstrate you using the software i'll tell you that i'll show you that so before that before demonstrating that let me explain what is mosfet and cmos with the uh, inverter diagram because i am going to explain or uh, demonstrate the uh, inverter diagram inverter circuit in that uh, software okay so before that uh, just let me give a glance avoid explain uh, avoid uh, instruction about the in transistors first because more of her more students has a problem with the cmos and cmos so let me continue with this first. so first one is mosfet so the mosfet has um, uh, become the most common used three terminal devices which brings the evolutions in the world of electronic circuits because this uh, small chip has many void uh, operations to do so without mosfet the design of integrated circuit seems impossible because from this mosfet we have designed the nmos and pmos so by comparing this nmos and pmos we have uh, uh, come to the conclusion of the cmos cmos circuit so let's move on to this this is a, these are a small quite small and their process of manufacture is also very simple the first one is cmos uh, so you can see the mos the mos the name the word mos in cmos refers to the transistors in the cmos components called mosfets uh, which is a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor and the c the part of c in the cmos which represents the word complementary like right? so the two different types of semiconductors the each transistor consists of n type and p type like uh, if you are uh, if you are uh, looking into n type then the semiconductor has the greater concentration of electrons because n represents electrons so it has its of electrons more than holes and um, uh, so if you are moving into p type this semiconductor have a greater concentration of holes than electrons so, like you'll have more major majority of holes in this uh, p type and then uh, you can easily remember that p type represents positive so it is holes just remember like that and then these two semiconductors works together and may form a logic uh, gate based on how the circuit is designed like this transistors these nmos and pmos these two uh, a tiny bit of a uh, transistors it helps as a wide it helps us in wide necessaries to design a various amount of designs various amount of circuits are logic gate. these two small components these two small transistors uh, which uh, which have three legs it helps us to design a multiple number of designs multiple number of circuits so let's see this um, and you have known this is the circuit diagram or you can say like a simple component circuit diagram of a uh, pmos and nmos uh, you can see here this is pmos which we have the arrow mark which moves inside so uh, by uh, and here this bubble we can represent pmos with this arrowhead or else with this bubble so if you have seen a transistor with a bubble then you can easily assume that it is the pmos and if you have seen a transistor with this arrow head which moves inside then it is known as pmos okay so uh, you can see here the source source is where the arrow head is connected with you can see this okay uh, so the source is here and then the drain so the input will be given to source and then the output will be gained from the drain and this is the nmos and here and here this arrow head is connected in drain so the input is given to the source and the output will be taken from the no i'm sorry this is a source and uh, this is drain okay so i have connected this and uh, this show uh, this nmos is shown in uh, different ways and then this is the uh, cmos inverter and this is what i'm going to design in this uh, schematic in the scanner tool to show you how the tanner tool is working how the tanner tool you can perform to work in this and uh, you all know the inverter process right if you have given uh, the zero as an input it will get the output as one and if you have given the input as one then you'll get the output as zero so how it is possible how we are getting at um, how we are saying this two transistor which have which we have connected here it uh, gives the output as a uh, one and zero sound you can say i'll explain you that so if you have given zero 
as an input here and you can see this pmos this is i have shown you the picture of pmos right so this is pmos and this is the nmos so the working process of the pmos is if we have given this is gate this is source and this is drain so if we have given the output uh, the input as zero if we have zero as an input to pmos then this pmos starts to work so just uh, remember like this uh, the positive values like p represents positive n type like positive means we have mentioned as four so it is zero so if we have given zero and you can see here bubble also so if we have given zero automatically the pmos will get stopped working so as usual if the uh, the input uh, if it start working then it will get the working start it will get the answer from the source so vdd we have connected the source with vdd vdd represents one so this one will flow through here and then it will come to the drain and then we will get the output as one so this is how if you give the input as zero we'll gain the output as one and then if you are uh, looking into n mos n mos what n which represents electron so we are giving as one we are representing it as one so if you give one as an input then this n mos will start to work so the n mos source is where so it's here it's some it's connected with vss so so the source of the n mos is connected with vss so what does vss vss is ground so ground means zero so automatically if the n mos get started to work this zero value will move towards this drain and it'll gain the output as zero so if we give uh, give the input as one then we'll get the output as zero this is how the inverter is operating this is how the inverter is working okay so let's now uh, now let's move on to the uh, designing work how to design it is in uh, essay it so we, uh, i think you have understood the inverter diagram and i'll uh, draw this inverter diagram in schematic uh, in this essay it uh, field and then i'll show you how you can design or you can work in uh, standard tool so excuse me a minute So you can see here, right? Uh, I think you can see the you can visible whether this uh, page is visible to you. Yes, it is visible. Thank you. So you can see here. Ah, yes, thank you so much. Ah, see, you can see here. This is the essay. I have. I'm um, speaking about. I have told you from the start. I am. Uh, I'm telling you this. Uh, this same words. Essay. T spice. W A D L A D L V S. So you can see here. This is S edit, and uh, this is how it looks like. And then uh, it's icon. Okay, this is a S edit and T space, and then W edit, L edit, L V. So it, uh, these uh, five uh, field, it is a separate field. You can see this. Uh, this S edit is a separate one, which is not connected with T space, out um, openly. But it is internally connected. Externally, it's not connected, but it is internally connected with the one to one another. Okay, so S edit. T space W edit L edit and L V S. So now let me start with S edit. So if you select, if you enter into the S edit, you can see this slide. You can see this page, and here this is the main uh, main page of this S edit. And now how I'm going to work? How I'm going to enter? And how I'm, uh, how uh, easy and easy to handle this S edit? I'll show you. So the first one is just let me move into the file if i click the file you can see the new right so there you can select this new design so if you select the new design you can uh, get this uh, you can see this dialog box you can see this dialog box where you can give a design name and then you can uh, first you can create a folder i have created a folder as the aj um, which is in this channel i have design i have created a folder in channel and then where it is uh, mentioned as the aj have created so i'm going to implement it here and then this design name if you are doing a project work or if you are doing an experiment um, you can give this uh, name as a common name you can uh, give the design name as a common name because um, like for example if you are going to um, 
if you are going to do a lab experiments like uh, four or five experience uh, experiments or else ten experiments uh, um, in a particular system like you i can say this uh, you are working in this system i'm i'm going to let's see this i'm working i'm going to work in this system and i'm going to uh, do uh, five to ten experiments in the same system and i can give the common name i don't want to uh, uh, because uh, in xilinx or else you have to give you have to assign um for a uh, design of or for give a um, writing of coding you have to do you have to create a new folder uh, you have to create a new design new uh, project frequently right you got uh, if you are going to do first experiment you will just create a new project and then you will you'll just uh, enter the project name and then you will write the uh, coding and then you will do the process and then if you are going to do the second experiment you will just enter once again you will just go into the new and the new project and then you will enter everything and then you'll draw you will do the next coding right but in this channel you don't want to do that those things multiple times you just have to create a design name as um, let me design it with my name itself okay i'm going to just design uh, i'm going to give a design name as with my name and that as a uh, aj uh, okay then and then sorry i have already have already okay let me design it with that okay so here i have um, i have uh, given a design name now you have to add the library files without library files you can't right you can't uh, do any design and before that before adding the library files you have to know where we can do this uh, circuit designing right we have to know where we can place the circuit the components the transistors so for that for that you have to click this cell there you can see new view if you click new view you'll get this dialog box that you can see this a cell name you can give anything like a uh, so this is that you can add multiple experiments like if you want to uh, uh, if just uh, i have opened the design name as anu and then now i'm going to enter the experiment number 1 okay i'm going to design inverter now i'm giving a inverter or else uh, and uh, let me give the name as experiment okay experiment 1 but you can't use the spaces it won't allow you to be the space it won't take as the space as an a valued one so you have to use underscore and please check whether the view uh, type is in schematic if it is in the schematic way so if it is schematic then okay just click okay then you'll get the platform where you can design this side this is where you are going to uh, design a space. so if you and then if you complete uh, experiment 1 and then you are going to do the experiment too that also you can just by uh, entering the cell and then if you are entering experiment 2 and then you have a, you can check whether the schematic view is in schemat, uh, view type is in schematic see you can set it in various types like very log we can write the coding and then interfaces and then spice and then schematic schematic represents the circuits like uh, inverters i have shown you the uh, design of inverter right the pmos and nmos that is how you can design it isn't schematic and then simple i'll show you to i'll show you by uh, changing the inverter diagram into a simple to show how uh, it uh, how we can design a uh, simple simple to and then next i'm uh, setting it as a schematic value and then okay see within a same design module same design name you can add multiple number of cells so a single person no need to save it in single folder or uh, to inst instead of that you can just save it in a single design name within a single design name you can design part uh, several number of experiments so i am going to first time uh, so if you need to see the experiment number 1 just uh, click this and you can see here it is experiment number 1 schematic diagram and you need to zoom in a zoom zoom out this this black page like this platform just to press the minus uh, symbol in this uh, keyboard or else the plus if you have click the plus you can be able to zoom out and then if you plus uh, minus negative sign you can uh, zoom in this page and then now let's add the library files while adding the library files only you can design the circuit right so let me add the library files so to add the library file i'm going to click this add this is where you can add the library files so add and then 
by clicking these three dots, like it's to browse. And here, a minute. So here, this is the standard uh, tools. Standard tools. I'm using the version sixteen point three version uh, standard uh, standard EDS software. So here, you have to add uh, multiple times the library files alone. So you can uh, get those library files in this process. And we have several library files. You can see here, like uh, Mosaic, uh, it's uh, the a number, the value of the transistor size. It has been changed, and then standard libraries, and then standard one hundred six. So I am using generic two fifty nanometer. Come to this, and you can see here. First, let me add this analog library. You can see this uh, Dana Design library file. Just click this and open. So now it's added here. Well, it's adding here. You can see this. Like this is where the devices where you can see the NMOSs and PMOSs. You can take this NMOS and PMOS do design a circuit. And then mice, which consists of VDD and ground. We can use this mice to uh, take the uh, use the VDD and the grounds. And then comments, spice comments. I'll, I'll tell you where you will use this spice comments. And we can add. Further remaining library files too. So first I have added like analog library and then devices. Okay. And then I'm adding IO pads, input output pads. So it's added and then Logic gates. Even it consists of and or XOR gates also. Um, this is what it consists of. See? Buffer, NAND gate, on OR gate, inverter, D flip logs, XOR, XNOR. You can see the, those uh, gates to write. And finally, this check. You don't have to add this tick here because this tick add this library file in at the end of this diagram, at the end of the circuit designing. After completing the cycle uh, designing work, you need to add this tick file. So you don't need to add here now. Finally, we have added every details, every uh, library file. So now I'm going to design the inverter. So for designing an inverter. I have shown like you for designing a new here. Right. To add a P and this PMOS in this device. And why we have uh, here 2.5 and 3? This is the width, this is the width of the circuit, uh, the NMOS and PMOS. Okay. So you can just click the NMOS and then just drag it here. You can see here and then. Let me show you an example with this. Um, you can see here NMOS 2, 5, 2.5, 3T. You can see here 3T, right? 3T represents these three legs. Like, uh, you can see here, right? Uh, one, wait, let me show you. And then 4T, I can add this to have 4T. I'm placing it here. And if you click done, that's all. You can see it. Or else you can click yes. Keep to Move this or remove that one. Okay, so this is the 4T example, and then this is 3T. Okay, well, what is the difference between this 3T and 4T? Why am I using this 3T, not 4T? Uh, for that, you can see here this in between substrate, this body particle, like you will uh, name it as substrate. So, this substrate, you can see here it is connected with ground. But whether in this circuit, whether in this component, did they connect it in? It was a uh, ground. No, they have not connected with the ground. So this is this fourth T, fourth leg. So if you are taking this four leg in uh, four leg uh, NMOS, then you have to connect. Uh, this is the uh, wire. Uh, you can see here. So you have to connect this with this leg with the, the NMOS. NMOS source because. 
we can see here this substrate value is connected with ground right so in n mass we will uh, in which terminal will give the connect uh, will connect the ground with this is the source in the source only will connect the ground right in n mass will connect the ground with this that is will connect the vss with the ground source so i am connecting this substrate value with this source because we'll collate will connect this source with the ground that's why i'm giving i'm the giving this connection wire connection so to complicate to not to complicate this functions it'll just straight away use this three terminal n mod so uh, let me uh, delete this just to select this and click delete you can delete this option and then if we need to move this component we can't just to drag it we can't move by selecting it we just click we need to click alt and then enter the click and then you have to move then only you'll get move the components or you can't move the component so i have a uh, i have you uh, implemented this n mass and then i need the component of p mass so i'm move this p mass and i'm given and then click done i have entered the p mass also so here you can see clearly this substrate is connected with vdd so you now you can understand right this vdd is why we are connecting it with the vdd because the source is connected with vdd so we are connecting the substrate value with vdd okay so i have i have implemented this n mos and p mos then next what do what do i want to do then i have to connect the vdd with the p mos and then ground over the n mos and then i have to also connect with this this two drain right so first let me connect it with connect the drain value by using wire so i am clicking the wire and then i am just clicking selecting that port and then selecting this point and i will get the i just i have just connected those wire points and if you need to move uh, if you don't need this wire uh, cursor just click uh, escape two times you will get a cursor from the uh, wire to select point you can just the change values so you can see here like we have connected this n mos and p mos and then next i'm going to connect to the i'm going to implement the vdd part so v is in my so i'm clicking the my and then i'm selecting the vdd i'm dragging it and i have just placed it here then and then i need vss or a ground okay so i'm just dragging the ground and then i have placed it here and then so now i'm going i need to connect this vdd with the source of pmos and vss with the source uh, source of nmos so i'm connecting the vdd and then vss so finally and also i'm connecting this to gate values gate of nmos and pmos so i have completed the designing work you can see here i have completed the designing work so next what do i want to do i have to give the input for input right input and output or else i can't get the output of this inverter so if we connect the input and output port only you can get the output of the particular input you are going to give right so let's connect those input and output in this diagram so where can i get this input and output so you can see here this is the input i am showing you this this is the input and this is output so i just click this input i'm dragging it here and it is uh, it is in the opposite direction right you have to rotate it so rotate uh, so to rotate a component you can just click this r if you click this r button you can rotate it and then i'm um, i just i need to if i need to give an input port you will need to give a name of this input port you can give uh, let me give it as an a for the input port so i'm giving the input port name as a and then output so this is output port and i'm just setting it here out and i'm just moving it so okay so now i have given the input port output port and then i have given i have drawn the pmos nmos and then 
DVDD and the ground also. So now, that is enough for this. Right. And I have just placed the VDD box. Right. This is a. Um, you can say that, uh, ma'am, we have already connected the VDD. Why not we can uh, go for the simulation? No. Uh, it's like a body. Right. Um, every human has a body, but without soul, we, we are nothing. Right. So likewise, this VDD is the body. So we need to give the soul, which is the power supply. We have to give the power supply as a soul. So for that, for that purpose, we are going into elements, size elements. So here we can see voltage source. Okay. Here we can see voltage source. Just click that and drag it here. So it's in this AC format. And we need the DC format. We are we are going to implement the DC value, DC current. So just click this interface and you can see the DC and select it and then you can see it here. And then that. So if you have not changed the DC value or it's just directly you have just collect, uh, connected this, uh, placed this uh, uh, voltage source with those uh, AC analyzers, then you can change it here. Here you can see this uh, in this right on the right hand corner. You can uh, you can see that properties value, and you can see if you click it, you can get this value. See, I have changed it into AC. So if I wanted it to be in bit, then wait. DC value. Okay, ma. If I wanted him to be in a bit, I can see it in this bit, right? Okay, so we can change it by using this property. So now I'm going to change it into DC values. And with uh, if we just uh, placed it here, means uh, whether it, it will work uh, work in this uh, circuit? No, they have to add this VDD and source uh, ground with this in uh, this voltage source. Then only it will get this uh, VDD get activated. So you may ask, ma'am, we can uh, just directly connect it here now. Why are you connecting it? Uh, why are you placing it separately? It is just a simple circuit. You can see here. Nothing. Uh, or if we just single. But if you are going to add a circuit, or else you are going to add a circuit, that will have one V. Uh, at that time, this is a voltage source, or we can't connect this one to each and every for we are just connecting it, saying it, and we are connect in, uh, connecting it this VDD and VDD and ground. So now I am connecting it with B. Okay, I have connected it here. So now the circuit, this circuit can cooperate with the voltage of 5 volt. So I have given the voltage source. Now the second point, I have to give the input to this input port. So what is the input? Uh, for an inverter, we can give it in bit values like zeros and ones. So for that, I am selecting the same voltage source. I am uh, selecting the same voltage source. I am dragging it from this element. So I am dragging it here. I am placing it here. And I am just going to change this voltage source into bit value. Like see here, it has changed. And you can give the pattern values here. Like uh, if you need 110, or else 001, or else 101, 010. You can give any any kind of pattern here in this. So I have, they have already mentioned here. If I, then let me change to 1010. Sorry, 10, 0110. And then one. Okay, I have given the pattern here. And then. I just given the pattern. I didn't connect it with this input port, right? If you know, so same procedure. I'm telling you this. Uh, this is the same procedure we have to follow each and every time. So 
Now we are going to add this to A also. I just did a, I just copied this A value, this the input port, and then just paste it. Okay, it's nothing uh, different with that. Paste it here. Okay, now I have given the input port also. So we have finally completed this process. And it's not ended here. Uh, so now uh, we have given the voltage source and we have given the input port for the output waveform. To see the output waveform, we have to know which input when you like uh, uh, whether the A as an input is the wave uh, we have getting so to know that we are giving the print voltage which is to know you can see here we have given voltage up uh, voltage as a power supply that's why we are using this print voltage. so you select here voltage and you'll get this here and then i place it here one because I need to know what is the input I'm giving and then what is the output I'm getting from this circuit. So for that only, we have uh, added this print voltage. Now, let me, so we have completed the circuit. Let me check whether the circuit is correct. They have any uh, wrong or any problem with this circuit. Any error we have, do we have any error in this circuit? Let me check it. So just click this double check and then see we can see here we have designed the circuit without any error and error any warning so they have given you the comment here now we have this is where we have to add the tech value i have already shown you right the tech value which you have seen in this library file so where we are going to add this tech value you without adding the tech value we can't calculate this we can see this output of this particular diagram okay but uh, so for this click this setup and you can see spy simulation just click it here you can see here now you have to add sorry just here just click general you can see this dialog box and click this general you have to add this library file this is where you are going to add the tech file like generic tech you can see here library file see the file type is library right so we are going to click this and we are going to add this here so by adding it alone, we can uh, generate this tech value. So we have to add ET to at the end of this library file. So attach to attach this whole library file with the circuit. That's why we are adding this. And then we are using voltage props, right? So we are enabling this waveform voltage probing. And then I am going to show you the transient analysis, transient analysis of this. Circuit. So there is the operating point of selected, and then we can give here the stop time. So I need a, a hundred nanosecond time the clock cycle. So I have given the hundred nanosecond, and the next one is maximum time step. I am going to set ten uh, nanoseconds for the maximum time step, and start time. I'm going to set it with zero nanosecond. So from zero nanosecond, the cycle will get to start, and then uh, with uh, within this. Um, particular 10 10 nanoseconds in the difference of 10 10 nanoseconds a particular cycle will end and then at the 100 nanoseconds it will stop so this is what i have given here and then i'm going to so save this everything and then just click this start simulation if you have clicked this uh, start simulation the process will take place and then Uh, T spice will get open. Here you can see whether the simulation is correct and then whether the circuit is correct and then whether the output of the circuit is gained here. Can we gain it? So see, simulation is completed. So it has shown you that simulation is completed. And then next, the W edit will get open.
so sorry. You can see here, right? Uh, they have shown the T spice, but the output have not shown because I didn't select this chances Fourier analyzer. So without selecting this chances Fourier analyzer, they have not shown the output. So now, let me do it once again. Sorry for the delay. Normally, it won't take this much of time. So, because of this. So, we have got this input and output uh, here. And if you need the separate values, and uh, just click this. This trace a separate plot, and you can see here. So, this is the input value, and this is output. So, if you have given the zero as an input, and you will get the output as one. And if you have given the in, uh, input as one, then you will get the output as zero. So you can see it here, right? And it stopped in this under nanoseconds. And each, each cycle completed within this 10 nanoseconds difference. So this is what I've shown you. So I think you have understood this uh, Tana software tool. And we have a, a little bit of time uh, to show this. I think I have uh, shown you clearly. And I think you have understood it too. And do you have any queries about this? Uh, about the session? Yes, madam. Yes, yes. If you have any queries, you can ask them. Yes, uh, Dr. Boson. Yeah, it is uh, yeah. like the way of uh, the peak also, the way of uh, Madam presented. Then uh, my query is, uh, the software is uh, differ from this, the MATLAB, if I take MATLAB. Or look here, uh, the, there is a T spice is there. Also the one which are I the, do the simulation part. Also, there is another also three. What are the different of them? Or Sorry. what uh, also, if I take MATLAB, uh, is it possible or can you mention the software? Thank you. And you are asking whether uh, there is any difference between the MATLAB and uh, Tanner. Yeah, also new for me this one. Uh, so can you explain for me? Yeah, sure. This is uh, we have a wide uh, reference here. Uh, in MATLAB, uh, you can um, you can use the coding. You have you use the coding uh, platform. It's a coding platform where it'll give the coding and it'll get the output of for that particular coding. And then it'll get the it'll just combine those codings and uh, designs. It'll design uh, it using a coding also. But here we can uh, manually design a circuit like. Uh, um, uh, if you take like uh, if you are going to design a simple uh, circuit like um, for example if you are going to design a simple uh, adder half adder means you'll know right uh, the large gate diagram of this uh, uh, adder is the half adder is and and gate and then on a xr gate this is the maximum uh, large uh, gates we'll use in this half adder but if you are uh, mounted uh, more precisely means uh, this uh, particular xr gate has a maximum number of uh, in, uh, transistor, like uh, 10 to um, 10 uh, transistors, I suppose. 7 to 10 transistors you'll have for to design a particular XRG. And uh, so the same uh, takes place in this AND gate also. But um, 
and uh, so we'll use those uh, we'll mention in a nat lab and we'll just mention as an or gate uh, or as an and gate we won't use how uh, we'll uh, we won't mention how many transistors we are using in the, to design those and gate or or gate but in this platform in the standard software you can uh, you can design you can uh, you can check the uh, mark or you can place the mark like how many transistors you are going to use to design a particular design particular circuit like um, i can uh, design and a mux and multiplexer using just using a two transistor or i can even design a xor gate using just two transistors so here the designing the designing of this uh, or uh, the area consumed by this particular and gate will be reduced so we can check using this software we can modify and we can check the uh, size the area the reduction it will show you visibly i think you have a, can you under, can you understand what i'm telling sure sure madam so uh, is it available the software really uh, um yeah it's available uh, no it's not available we have to purchase it and uh, mm. you have to purchase it sir it's not available freely and um, it, uh, we have crack versions in uh, we have uh, open uh, open source in open source as a crack version but it also had, uh, work as similar to the uh, original version but it uh, will have some uh, accuracy problem a uh, slight accuracy problem in this uh, outcome okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Any more queries from the participants? I'm sorry, you cannot chat, but you can only use your mic and ask your queries. Do you have any queries? Or clarifications from the resource person. Right. Right. So thank you, everybody. Uh, I'm sure that after this session, uh, everybody will, will will build a new schematic designs out of Tanner EDA, as what uh, Professor Anu Joel has uh, uh, referred to you, everybody. So in this uh, pandemic period, once again, I would like to remind you all. Uh, we have uh, indian uh, participants we have african ethiopian uh, saudi arabian bahraini and uh, even uh, dubai gulf uh, as well as the african uh, country participants over here uh, please do uh, be safe keep the near and dear ones uh, very close to each other maybe you are bonded together but you have to be socially distance apart even at home use mask if necessary and uh, stay safe at all times because uh, at any time the third wave uh, might come if uh, you are not uh, uh, careful, careful enough. enough. So, so thank, thank you once, once again, again Professor Anandel for, for your intensive approach uh, for this uh, short term training program. program. And, and thank, thank you one and all. Sir. Uh, Prabhakar, you want... Yes, uh, Dr. Dr. Bajala, you, you have any query? Yeah, can we get the PPT, sir? Yes, yes sir, definitely, sir. sir. The, the PPT, PPT, the certificates, and all the materials concerned with this uh, in internet search so random training program, and all the presentations will be shared to you within a week time. That is within 18 May 2021. Okay. So, in, in May, not at all. Thank you, thank you. So, those uh, participants who have successfully filled the PPT training on all the presentations will be getting the 12 certificates. Suppose if you have filled only 10 PPT trainings, then only 10 certificates will be delivered to you. Okay? Right. 